Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to upload files from your blog or your website to a Google Drive so that you can save some hosting and you can get rid of some unwanted files that get stored in your hosting. So let's see how to do that. For that you need to create a web app and you have to embed your web app on your blog or website. So that is what we are going to see in this video. Let's watch. So go to Drive and you need to create a Google Apps script. It is a standalone script and it is not bounded inside any of the Google app. So let's create a project and name this project as upload files. So you need to create HTML. Let me name this as index.html because this HTML will be visible to the user when they see the web app. So I do have a template for HTML. So this is very simple. It contains a head tag and this title contain upload files and it contain a body tag and in the h1 it contain file uploader and this contain a form tag and inside the form tag there is a two input tag and label one input is to upload file and another input is to submit show the submit button after uh, the user successfully uploaded the file so let's name this as upload files to make it more meaningful and this I use it to show the success message after the files get uploaded to a drive. So this is a very basic HTML. Okay, so here when you deploy this project as a web app, user should see the HTML. So you need to render the HTML and show to the user. To render the HTML, you should use a predefined method in Google Apps Script. The method name is doGet. So let me create a variable HTML and using a class HTML service, I can create HTML output from file and the file name is index that we have created right now. So here you no need to specify the .html because it can automatically identify the HTML file which contain an index as a name so you need to return this html so now when you deploy this as a web app this html will be returned and the user can able to see the html that we have pasted here so let's see how this work to deploy it as a web app go to publish and deploy as a web app new and execute the app as user accessing the app and if you want anyone to access the app click on anyone and click on deploy and you will get an url this is a web app url so whenever you are making changes to a project you need to deploy again and again for each changes you have made so if you want to get rid of this lengthy process you can make use of this latest code the test web app it will contain a dev so what are the changes you are making that will get refreshed automatically but when, once you are done with everything you need to deploy it as a web app and this is the url that you need to share with your user or you need to embed this url on your blog or web app so now when i launch the web app you can see that it contains h1 tag and it has a choose file where user can click on this button to pick the file that they want to upload and when the user click on the upload file what are the files that they have selected will be uploaded to google drive so that is the ultimate goal but we haven't done the logic for that let's see how to do that so whatever the code whatever the function that you're writing here on the html is a client side and what are the function that present on this index.html is visible to the user so when they click on the inspect and they can able to see the function that you have written here and this code.js is a server-side script and what are the function that you have written here will not be visible to the user so that's a basic difference so let's see how to do that and how to upload files to a google drive so here i have created a folder called upload files and i want 
the files uploaded by the user to this folder. So first we need to identify the action performed by the user. So when the user upload the file and when the user click on this upload file button, I should listen. So with the help of add event listener, we will listen and call the function. So let's see how to do that. So I need to create a script. It's nothing but a basic JavaScript. I need to identify the ID of the upload file button and I need to add event listener when a click is performed I should call a function and inside the function I should write a logic to call this Google Apps script. So this function should call a Google Apps script function. And the function name is upload file. And this function is taking care of uploading files to your Google Drive. So to call this function, Google has given a um, class google.script.ran so you can use this google.script.ran from your javascript to call any of the google app script google.script.ran followed by your function name and my function name is upload file so in the upload file i need to pass the file uploaded by the user so i can use this dot parent node so this dot parent node is a simple javascript command so what are the details given in the form that will be passed and here i can find or i can filter the file let's name this as a data let's let's pick up the file using data dot and the file name is my file so this file what are the files uploaded by the user that will get stored in the variable file in the form of blob so now i have to access this uploaded file folder with the help of the id so what about the text that you're seeing after the folder is an id so you can exclude the slash you can make use of drive app class and get folder by id so now you locate this upload file folder so let's create a variable create file and folder dot create file it should create a file for this variable and this contain a blob object okay so as a success message you can pass the url of the files uploaded by the user so url in the sense uh, you can pass the file url on your google drive so to do that you can use file you can make use of this create file dot get url so we have written a javascript and when user click on this upload file button this function will be triggered and this function google.script.ran is calling your google app script function and this function pass whatever the form details that you have filled and the same details will be forwarded to this upload file and here we are identifying the uploaded file and we store it in the variable file and we are creating a variable folder to access this uploaded file folder with the help of id and we are creating a file nothing but we are uploading the file that was uploaded by the user using this create file method and we are passing the success response in the form of return so let's see how this work 
let me refresh so when you are using the drive app when you're using a drive app class you need to give a one-time authorization click on the review permission and select your gmail account click on the advanced and click on go to finally click on the allow button so this you need to do only for one time so now this is how your web app will look so when you click on the choose file it will show the folder you can just upload any pdf and click on upload file and when you inspect that let's see are you getting any error message so everything seems to be working fine so if you go here to upload a file so here you go so here you can see that what are the files uploaded by the user is uploaded to this particular folder that's it very simple and if you want to check the status whether it is uploaded successfully or not you can make use of uh, this google app script success handler so you can just call this one and you need to create a function for on success so this google.script.run with success handler will call this function on success only if this action this function is upload file function is called successfully and when this upload file function is successfully called it will return the get url and that will be passed to the on success let's put that as a data and we will show the url because here we are passing the url of the uploaded file so let's put document dot get element by id we will use the label id to show the response dot in a html equal to file uploaded to the path this one so let's reload and see how it works let me upload a image and click on upload file so here you can see that success message file uploaded to the path and path of your google drive so once you copy paste the path you can able to see the image that was uploaded and the same image will be uploaded on your upload files here you go so now this is how your web app look but how can you embed this web app on your blog or website that's the more important thing so to do that you should not pass the rendered html so here what you have to do is you have to use set x frame function so that you can embed this web app as a frame so to do that you can use this html dot set x frame option mode and you have to set the html service dot x frame option mode dot allow all oops let me remove this one so now you can embed this web app anywhere on your wordpress blog or on your own website so once you did that you have to publish and deploy it as a web app so when you deploy you have to select the new and click on update you will get the current web app url so just copy that and go to your website so this is uh, my simple index.html that i have created so inside the iframe tag you can just paste the src here 
and the width is set to thousand and height is a uh, 500 so i haven't create i haven't done any complex thing so i just create the basic html tag just save this one let me start the server so this is how the web app look on your wordpress blog or website when you embed that so you can just go ahead and choose the file it will work in the same way as it worked in the web app google web app so if you just do a refresh so here you go so this is the core concept behind how to upload files from your website or your blog to google drive and you can find the source code given in the description if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye